Hello, Walnut Creek. I'm Cindy Silva, and it's my honor to serve this year as the city's mayor. Each month, the mayor broadcasts an update that highlights what's happening in and around the community. And this is my report for January. Of course, everyone's focus has been on the weather. Since mid-December, Walnut Creek has received nearly 20 inches of rain, most of it since New Year's Eve day. The storms have wreaked havoc on our roadways, downed trees, flooded creek beds, storm drains, and usually dry ditches, and caused power outages. And worst of all, some of you have been dealing with the after effects of flooded homes and businesses, and we are so sorry that the new year has started this way for you. While these days have been truly challenging, it's also given our community the opportunity to show how much we care about our neighbors and friends and how much we're willing to help one another. Maybe you picked up groceries for a neighbor, or maybe you took in a friend who was stranded without power and needed a warm shower. Maybe you helped unclog a storm drain, or maybe you helped to fill sandbags. Whatever you did, it's been important and we thank you. I also have to give a huge shout out to the men and women of the city's public works department. Our dedicated public works team has been working 24 hours a day, seven days a week during these storms. From New Year's Eve morning on, they were in emergency response mode, clearing more than two dozen fallen trees, responding to more than 160 calls related to the storm, monitoring our swollen creeks, and clearing clogged storm drains. Plus, the crews provided 650 cubic yards of sand and 45,000 sandbags to support the community. Just as important was the team's preparatory work, which occurred in advance of the storm. And it's because of their tireless, dedicated work that damage wasn't worse. This work made a big difference across the community. So thank you again to our public works heroes. With all the wind and rain, you may have missed the construction work that has started on Locust Street in downtown. The work involves the replacement of 75-year-old water and sewer lines that are beneath the street and a couple of the side streets. Please do note the work does not impact Main Street. Of course, there's never a perfect time to upgrade aging infrastructure, but work like this can't be put off forever. So you'll see East Bay Mud and then the Sanitary District working along Locust for a number of months. And that's why the outdoor dining spots have been removed temporarily. Fortunately, the work only affects the streets during the day, and the streets will be cleared in the evening so we can visit the restaurants for dinner. And again, the work does not involve Main Street. In the meantime, we thank our businesses and all of you for your patience during this very important infrastructure project. With the help of our planning commission and with the input of the community, the city council this month is finishing up its work on updating the city's housing element. Now, that may sound obscure, but it's a very important plan that helps guide the future of housing in Walnut Creek because we know the community will continue to grow, albeit slowly, and we need to plan the meet, to meet the housing needs of families of all sizes, ages, and economic means. After a few weeks of nothing but dark clouds, I think we're all up for a burst of color. So we hope you'll stop by the Bedford Gallery, located inside the Lesher Center for the Arts, for the new exhibit called The Sensation of Color by Bay Area artist Aaron Fong. I saw the exhibit on opening day, and I can say it truly makes you smile. The Bedford Gallery is open Wednesdays through Sundays from noon to 5 p.m. Tickets are just $5, and guess what? Children younger than 12 are free. Also at the Lesher Center in February, Center Rep's next production, a wildly imaginative play titled Red Bike. The 90-minute production gives the audience a look at the modern-day changes in a small town through the eyes of an 11-year-old who is riding around on a bike. You can find out more about the production and get tickets through the Lesher Center website, which is lesherartscenter.org. 
and to ensure cost isn't a barrier to the arts, you are invited to take advantage of a pay-what-you-can performance of Red Bike on either February 4th or February 5th. Now, although we're still in the thick of winter, it's never too early to think about summer. Registration is now open for Walnut Creek's Arts and Recreation Summer Camps, and early bird discounts are available through the end of February. And oh, by the way, summer camp scholarships are also available. Visit the Arts and Rec website for details. So that's it for this month. Until next month, be safe and stay dry. And if you see me around town, please be sure to say hello. Have a good day.